<laughs> Thank you, everyone. My name is Kristen Tumians. I'm the zoning administrator, and it's 10:30, so I'm calling the meeting to order. Uh, the first item on the agenda is approval of minutes for the June 6 um, ZA meeting. Uh, the, uh, there are no changes, so the meetings for the minutes for June 6 are approved as submitted. And this is uh, the public comment period. So this is for non-agenda matters. This is a time when any person may address matters not listed on the agenda, but which are within the subject matter jurisdiction of this committee. So if you have something you'd like to discuss that is not on the agenda, this is the time. Is there anybody wishing to speak? I'll do that, yeah. But that would, that would allow. Oh, okay. Good point. So yes, uh, just to let you know, there's one item that will be continued. Is it 6.2? 6, 6.2, item 6.2 will be continued. This is a minor conditional use permit for a mobile vending use at 1011 College Avenue, file number CUP24-015. And this is for a great saver mobile food kitchen. This item, um, uh, the public requests that it be a public hearing. So this item will be rescheduled to a future date um, and it would not be hear heard today. So if you had any comments on this item. May I ask when will we be notified about the future meeting? So it would be re-noticed as a public hearing. New notices will go out. Um, an ad will be placed in the paper and new signs should be posted on the site. So, uh, so one of those blue well, it's no, no longer blue. They used to be blue. Now they're white with a burgundy, burgundy header. Yeah. Okay. They used to be blue. Yeah. So I don't know. We don't really. I think, I think August. So if anybody would like to speak, go ahead and raise your hand. Like speak on this item. To, to speak on an item not on the agenda. agenda. Yes. Could be that. It could be this item, but you could reserve your comments until the public hearing also, or you could- okay. For great yeah, sake, I'll reserve. Okay. Thank you. So I will have to look for this once we- And, and, and um, the planner said it, it will, will likely be in, on August 15th. On August when? 15th. 15th. Okay. 15th? That's tentative, yeah. We're and looking at that date. It's in the evening or the afternoon? It'd be in the morning. Yeah, they would same be at time. Same time as same time, same place. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yeah. So that item is not going to be talked about today. Is that correct? That's correct. correct. Which allows you to make a public comment on it now if you would like. Or you can wait. Or we can wait and move on. I'd like to make a public comment. Yes. Okay. Uh it sounds like he would just a moment. Pull up the timer. So you have two minutes. <laughs> Are our comments being videoed as they were the last time we were here? The so I don't think uh, if you're sitting there, the camera's not picking you up, but the audio is being recorded. Yes, the whole meeting is being recorded. Yes. Hi, my name is Kiergan Pegg and I live at 615 King Street, Santa Rosa. Um, we're adjacent to the parking lot of the Druids building. Okay. And um, so I have prepared a written comment that I'd like oh. to submit for the record in okay. addition to the request for public hearing that I submitted yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so um, I won't share the specific comments at this time, but is it possible to enter that into the, yes. the record of public comment? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes. And can I provide that to Jan? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll get that to you yes, after the meeting. Oh, you can submit it now. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Like there will. Yes, sir. Can I go back to six point two briefly? Yes. Uh, it, I note that it says that it's approved. Um, it's been, it's, there's an approval granted to be granted it's being recommended it's being recommended for yeah, approval. recommended for approval yes i'm wondering what the basis is for this approval to date so um planner briscoe can share with you the resolution that lists the findings that were made in order to justify the approval i'm sorry Jan, uh planner janin briscoe can share the resolution that he prepared that justifies the reason why we're, the planning staff is recommending approval how can I access that? You can speak to me and I'll, I'll give you a copy or email it to you. Can I give that to you now? 
Sure. Oh, I don't have a paper on it right now. We we shouldn't. Well, we also shouldn't have a back and, and forth about it. Do you mind stepping out and he can we can sure. share information? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Moving on, is there anyone um, wishing to speak on items not on the agenda? Okay, so closing a uh, public comment period for. Next item on the agenda is administrative business, a statement of purpose. The zoning administrator is appointed by the planning and economic development director and has the responsibility and authority to conduct public meetings and hearings and to act on applications for minor or reduced review authority projects or entitlements. A determination or decision by the zoning administrator may be appealed to the design review board, cultural heritage board, planning commission or city council as applicable to the decision. All actions taken by the zoning administrator may be appealed within 10 calendar days. If the final day of the appeal period falls on a non-business day, the appeal period will be extended to the next business day. There are no uh, zoning administrator reports, so we'll move on to the next uh, scheduled item, which is item 6.1. Glenna Hartman will be presenting. Thank you, Zoning Administrator Tumians. I'm the project planner for the uh, project proposal uh, for today that's going on at 551 Summerfield Road. It's a minor conditional use permit application and minor design review application for a new health uh, slash fitness facility, um, otherwise known as Plan of Fitness, um, with also extended hours of operation being proposed um, and some exterior modifications uh, being proposed to the front uh, building facade, including some uh, window and door placement changes um, and the removal of the current uh, kind of covered awning uh, at that frontage and the landscape that is currently there at the, uh, at the property is proposed to stay. So this just is a uh, aerial view of the project site located in the Montgomery slash Summerfield neighborhood shopping center. So the general plan land use designation is retail and business services. And the proposed use is consistent with the retail and business services um, designation, which is intended for retail and service enterprises, offices, and restaurants. The zoning district is neighborhood commercial, otherwise known as CN. And the CN zoning district is applied to areas within and adjacent to residential neighborhoods appropriate for a limited retail and service centers for convenience shopping. Uses in these centers are intended to provide for the day-to-day -day needs of local neighborhoods and workplaces. These are some existing photos of the front elevation site. Um, it's currently uh, the Summerfield Theater, which appears to have received a use permit back in the 1980s um, under the Sonoma Motion Picture Company. This is a proposed um, elevation of the front, as you can see kind of the, uh, the change in the orientation of the windows and door. Um, as well as kind of like a new uh, painting um, and siding. So these were some generalization or general summarization of some of the comments that were made um, or provided to uh, planning staff prior to the meeting, as well as at the uh, meeting that was formally held. Um, and this is also the second meeting um, that we've had for this uh, application. It was continued um, for, uh, re for design uh, changes and comments. Um, the staff analysis has concluded that all findings can be made. Um, and just reiterating kind of what I um, had said at the last of previous meeting was city staff's role in this application process, which is we don't really have control over a private business closing or opening on a private property. Our role is to provide information on land use and zoning and site development standards and processing applications for land use permits and land divisions, um, which when an application comes in, we assess you know, if it's permitted or not on a site 
Um, and we did conclude that a fitness center is permitted at this location in the zoning district by obtaining a minor conditional use permit. The proposed site, uh, or sorry, wrong, uh, wrong notes there. Um, the the site, project site uh, is considered categorically exempt pursuant to CEQA guidelines, sections 15301, 15303, and 15183. Um, both categorically and statutorily exempt um, because the project involves changing the previous use to a new use where only minor alterations to the existing facility are proposed. Um, and it's also consistent with the general plan 2035 uh, for which an environmental impact report was certified by the council in 2009. So the, it is therefore recommended by the planning and economic development department that the zoning administrator um, approve a minor conditional use permit and minor design review permit by resolution to allow for a new fitness facility with extended hours of operation, um, as well as minor exterior modifications at the property located at 551 Summerfield Road. And this is my contact information above. I also have my cards here on the table if you have any uh, follow-up questions. Um, and that is the end of my presentation. Zoning Minister. Thank you, Ms. Hartman. Is the applicant available? I yeah. Heard yes. there on Zoom. Yes, they'll be um, available over Zoom. Yeah, I'd like to. Um, I had a number of design um, issues with the previous design, and I was hoping the applicant or the applicant's designer could walk me through the, the changes that were made from the previous design to the current design. Mr. Rochelle, you may unmute yourself if you would like. Good morning, uh, Jim Rochelle, EJR Group, 344 20th Street in Oakland. And we're representing uh, George Arce and his uh, ownership team uh, on uh, any ownership questions that we can answer. Well, yes, so I'd, I, um, this is Zoning Administrator Tumians. I'd, I'd like you to walk me through the design changes that were made from the last meeting. Um, I'm not, we're not really directing the team. Uh, this would be Planet Fitness and their team. Are they not present to walk you through these, this presentation? I'm here to answer any questions on behalf of the ownership of the shopping okay. center. You have your designer available or sorry, one moment. We're looking to see if they're on. Yeah, I'm not seeing their names on there. I apologize. Me neither. So is the architect not available to discuss the design changes from last meeting? If you're so. Okay. Hartman, uh, yeah, you, oh, yeah I'm not aware. So um, okay. all I Damn know man. is what you has been submitted. I don't know the previous activity with first application versus revised. I apologize. There's a David Dameron. Are you oh, a member of the team? That might be. I don't recall his name. <laughs> Last second. David Dameron. Um, yes, I'm here. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm with MT Studio Architects. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Great. Can you walk me through the design changes that were made between the last meeting and today's meeting? Yes, I sure can. Um, thank you. At the last meeting, as you recall, we had the tower on the front that was higher than the normal facade. Um, we got rid of the bulky, heavy design. And we re redesigned this, the building to more or less keep the same height of the parapet and to match the um, natural tones of color of the neighborhood. Okay. And um, Planner Hartman mentioned there is no proposed changes to the landscaping. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, uh, Suzanne, this is David, and Mike gave me your name. Um, but I'm looking at a, a 
the rendering that he provided, I believe, and we're just keep we're keeping the existing landscaping as is. There might do some pruning of the landscaping, but I don't believe they're planning anything new. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, um, in regards, oh, so. Um, we will now open up to public comment. If you are attending in person and wish to make a comment, please raise your hand. You will have two minutes to speak. All right, sir. Um, go ahead if you'd like to state your name for the record. Yes, yes. sir. Yep. Good morning. My name is Derek Steffen, Santa Rosa, born and raised, longtime resident of the Junior College neighborhood. As a member of the recently formed Citizen Committee, to save Summerfield Cinemas, I urge the zoning administrator and city planning to further delay on granting the use permit to Planet Fitness and Center's dynamic partners. This shopping center, known as Lakeside, was built in the 1950s and 60s, has a mid-century architecture and low roof line that is not conducive to a big box format building. The significance of these business districts at Lakeside and the neighboring shopping center on Montgomery Drive, known as The Village, were built around the same time. They hold many long established small and local businesses. These enterprises need to be protected and nurtured, not destroyed. I see with the new design plan, there is a change in the roof line, so I'll address that. I still think that the signage in its bold coloring and also the use of the space as a large format gym drawing so many people in and out at all times of day is not conducive to a quiet neighborhood where apartments and homes are immediately in access to the site. For, furthermore, I urge Mr. Arce and Center's dynamic partners as out-of-town investors and developers to lean into the fact that a large majority of citizens do not want you to develop this property with a plan of fitness. We have over 1,300 signers of our petition on change.org with 60% from the local North Bay community supporting the effort to save Summerfield Cinemas from demolition. In closing, perhaps a new vision can be developed using mixed use, high performing, revenue generating business models to redevelop the shopping center. Case in point, Sony Pictures Entertainment is investing in acquiring, acquiring cinemas in California and beyond. Note a recent press release, release which I've included in, in my uh, email. Uh, detailing Sony's purchase of Alamo Draft House in Culver City, California. I urge all stakeholders to stop, look, and listen to the citizens of our great city of Santa Rosa and sign the Summer Build Cinemas. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Is there anyone else wishing to speak? Please raise your hand. Sir. Hi, sir, if you could say your name. Uh, right I'm Paul Seif. I'm also working with Derek and the 1,300 other signers of the petition as a citizens committee to save the Summerfield Theater. Um, I did a search yesterday online and just put in a, a phrase, uh, are, are movie theaters being saved around the United States? I just put in that line. Came up with a lot of information about theaters all over the country that are threatened with closure, where citizens are stepping in to try to save the theaters, people in the film industry like Francis Ford Coppola, um, Quentin Tarantino, who also signed our petition, by the way, and, and other uh, luminaries in, in that, in that uh, field, in, in, the, in the cinema, trying to save these theaters. And it's happening. There are theaters that are being kept open. There are victories being won all around the United States. It's a trend that has happened because of the pandemic, but the pandemic is over. We go to restaurants now, we go to sporting events, we go to the movies. And there are movie theaters that are thriving in the United States. There are movie theaters that are thriving right here in Santa Rosa, uh, run by the Tokinis, their other two properties. There's a, an opportunity, we believe, for the, for the summer field with creative entrepreneurial spirit to thrive as well. It has had a tough time. That doesn't mean it's, it should be abandoned. The, the, the trend toward closing theaters, oddly enough, around the country is happening with a lot of fitness clubs being replacing them. These are big, these are big uh, uh, footprints and the fitness clubs come in. It's, it's a common thing as I've researched, but those are theaters that are already closed, long gone. This theater is, is having a knife put in its gut. <laughs> and, and as I said in comments to the city council, Planet Fitness, if you're listening, you're building on the grave of a beloved theater 
and a cultural center for this, this community. You're coming in under a cloud. And it's, it's very possible that, that the citizens of Santa Rosa will, will arrange a boycott. Boycotts are as American as apple pie, from the Boston Tea Party to the Montgomery boycott in, in, uh, in uh, Alabama uh, during the civil rights era. Boycotts are American. So uh, one last thing, the extended hours in this neighborhood, 24 hours next to, next to residential, you tell me. Would anybody else like to make a public comment? Uh, my name is Trinity Winslow. I'm representing a growing number of uh, local small businesses in the Lakeside District that are signing a petition that we, we are concerned. We feel that adding a large corporate franchise such as the Planet Fitness uh, to our district will kind of be the, uh, the, the final push that will corporatize uh, the entire district and will uh, drive out and harm the rest of the small businesses there. So um, this is our concern. We are hoping that the planning department can um, make more consideration between whether or not small businesses and large corporate chains should actually be permitted there. So we built a dangerous move for small businesses. Thank you. Thank you. Would anybody else like to make a public comment? Yes. Um, my name is Judy McNeil, and I just want to share my experience of yesterday. Uh, we were in front of the cinema plus people and I uh, got a lot of reaction from people going by and I met a 75 year old woman to be active about 55 her daughter was there and her grandson who was told me he was going to be in sixth grade and the daughter said I have gone here ever since I was allowed to go to the theater by myself and the little boy is just was darling. And the mother, the grandmother, 75 year old, said, I can only go to this theater because my husband's in a wheelchair and I'm in the neighborhood and I can just feel him. And Roxy is just too comfortable. So um, just a little, you know, neighborhood input that uh, was really stuck in my mind how important this theater is to me. Thank you. Would anybody else like to make a public comment? If so, please raise your hand. How many comments can we make? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Can we still Sorry. Let's do the floor. Had to, that's <laughs> uh, Seeing no more comments, uh, we can close. The yes, comment. thank you. I'll close the public comment. Um, so, um, in regards to the use permit, um, planning staff can't control what businesses decide to open or close. That's the challenge. And in fact, looking at the zoning, which is uh, neighborhood commercial, in fact, theaters aren't even permitted in um, CN, which I found, found interesting. Um, whereas a uh, fitness center is allowed with the minor use permit. So I just found that interesting. Um, I find that the, the use is appropriate for the location, that um, any nuisances regarding noise or any other types of nuisances, nuisances can be mitigated by the design of the building. Um, I don't have concerns with the late night hours, given the type of use that it is. It's, it's not a nightclub or anything, it's a fitness gym. Um, so in regards to the use permit, I don't have any concerns. Um, I originally had concerns with the design of the building, but um, the applicant appears to address a lot of the design concerns by removing the bulky um, uh, parapet wall, um, bringing the columns down so they connect to the ground. Um, the building looks like it would blend in better with the surrounding uh, businesses uh, and existing buildings. So because of that, um, I can also make all the findings that you made and we'll be approving um, PRJ 23-018.
minor conditional use permit and minor design review for Planet Fitness located at 551 Summerfield Road. And we will take a five minute recess. Oh, and the appeal, if you would, um, both the applicant and the public may appeal this decision. Um, you have 10 uh, calendar days to appeal. Um, that appeal deadline will be July 29th by the end of business day, so by five o'clock. Um, appeal of the use permit would go to planning commission and an appeal of the des design review would go to design review board. So um, if you wish to appeal, that would be your deadline. Uh, with that, we're gonna take um, a five minute recess so people can uh, get resettled for the next item.
Um, Thank you. We're reconvening the zoning administrator meeting. Just as a reminder, item 6.2 is being continued and will be re-noticed as a public hearing. And we are moving on to item 6.3. This is a minor conditional use permit for U.S. Armed Forces Recruiting Center at 3080 Marlowe Road, Unit 819, file number CUP 24-018, and Planner Briscoe will be presenting. Thank you, Ms. Zoning Administrator. Good morning. I'm Jenna Briscoe, and I'm here to I'm here today to present to you the Armed Forces Recruiting Center located at 3080 A19, Suite A19 Road. And the applicant's proposing to move into an existing suite suite and to demolish obsolete interior improvements. And this project requires a condition use for it because the zoning is neighborhood commercial and within neighborhood commercial commercial land use designations. Uh, a, condition, a conditional use permit is required for government offices, which just, um, which just is. Continue. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I back. That's okay. okay. And the general plan doesn't land use designation is retail and business services. As I said previously, the zoning land use designation is neighborhood commercial, which is why this this project. Uh, need requires a conditional use permit. And this is the neighborhood context map. And as you can see, to the south is another shopping center. And to the southwest is residential. And to the east is residential. Residential and directly south is residential as well. And here's a floor plan of the proposed use. And as you can see, um, each branch of the each branch of the U.S. military has has its own suite within this within this suite such as the army the marines and the air force and the navy the project has been found in compliance with the california environment environmental quality act pursuant to CEQA guidelines section 15303 the project is categorically exempt from CEQA because the project proposes a change of use and requires only minor, only minor interior alterations and at this time, there are no, there are no resolved, unresolved issues. And I did receive one public comment that was in support of this, this proposal. And it said um, that it would be a great addition to the shopping center here. And staff analysis has concluded that all findings can be met. Thus, it is recommended by the Planning and Economic Development Department that the zoning administrator approve a condition use permit to allow a government office at 3080 Sweet A19 Marlow Road. And that's my contact information if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Planner Briscoe. And there are there any exterior changes with those like? No exterior okay, changes. Got it. Got it. Is the applicant here and wishing to make a comment? Seeing none, I'll open it up to public comment. But since there's no one, is there anyone here wishing to speak on this item? A closing public comment. Um, so I have no issues with this use at this location. Seems like an appropriate use. Would it create any issues or nuisances to the surrounding neighbors? So with that, I will be approving an conditional use permit for U.S. Armed Forces Recruiting Center at 3080 Marlow Road, Suite A19. File number is CP24-018. Please note this action is final unless an appeal is filed with the city clerk's office within 10 calendar days of today's decision. For this item, that date is July 29th, 2024. And we will move on to the next item. So this is uh, item 6.4, Hillside Development Permit for Accessory Structures, located at 4004 Split Rail Court, file number HTP, HDP 23-006. And Planner Hartman will be presenting. Thank you, Zoning Administrator Tumians. Pulling up my presentation.
All right, so I am the project planner for the Hillside Development Permit um, application at 4,000 Forest Foot Rail Court. This is an aerial view of the project site and the area of work is going to be right here, kind of in the front side um, yard. A hillside development permit approval is required for all proposed development or new land use portions of the project site that have a slope of 10% or greater. And the construction of the following accessory, accessory structures um, are a retaining wall, a pool, and a pool house. The general plan land use designation is very low residential, and the zoning district is plan development. Uh, this general plan designation accommodates rural and hillside developments intended for single family detached units, but some cluster single family multifamily may be permitted. And the plan development district is intended to recognize the advantage that integrated community offers over conventional zoning techniques in implementing general plan goals through specific site developments. This is a little rendering of the uh, proposal. As you can see here in the red circle, we have the uh, pool house, um, as well as some uh, landscaping proposed in the front that will kind of uh, be used as a little bit more of a barrier between um, that proposed work and the street. This is the proposed site plan. and some more um, renderings of the proposal. The proposed project has been reviewed in compliance with the California Environmental Quality Act and qualifies for class three categorical, categorical exemption under section 15303. And there are no unresolved staff, staff issues um, or um, any issues in result of staff review. Uh, no comments were provided uh, prior to this meeting and uh, staff analysis has concluded that all findings can be met. So it is recommended by the Planning and Economic Development Department that the Zoning Administrator approve by resolution minor hillside development permits to allow the construction of various accessory structures um, located at 4,000 Forest Foot Rail Court. And I have my contact information here if there are any questions. I don't believe the architect is um, in the room or online, um, but if any questions arise, I will try my, the best of my ability to answer them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone um, in the audience wishing to make a comment on this item? Are there any hands raised? Uh, there are. No people to make public okay. or who wish to make a public yes. comment. Yes. Okay, great. So I will close public comment. So I appreciate the design takes advantage of the flatter uh, portion of the lot. Um, I find that the views will be very negligible from public right of way. Um, it seems like an appropriate use of the flat area, flatter area of the site. And I feel that the hillside development permit bindings can be made easily. So with that, I'll be approving Hillside Development Permit for accessory structures located at 4004 Split Rail Court, file number HDP 23-006. And please note this action is final unless a appeal is filed uh, within 10 calendar days. And for this item, that date is July 29th, 2024. But since there are no more items, this meeting is now adjourned. Thank you.